What's going on everyone, it's Marco Hanna and last week Motorola told us they were going to send us some kind of box with something inside of it. Well that box has finally showed up to my doorstep and it happens to be the brand new Moto E for 2015. So enough of us talking, let's go ahead and take a look at one, the box that it came in and also the brand new Moto E for 2015. So before I really dive into this, Motorola sent us a press conference inside of a box, which is pretty sweet. It's basically their space up in Chicago, and the box represents that super well. It even codes with my own mini Rick Osterlo. But the main thing of this is the brand new second generation Moto E. It's larger, more powerful, and it carries over new features from the Moto X and the Moto G. Size-wise, the display has grown to 4.5 inches, but the resolution remains the same at QHD or 960 by 540. Internally, it's been bumped up to the quad-core Snapdragon 410 processor, clocked in at 1.2 gigahertz. RAM remains the same at one gigabyte, and the Adreno chip is now the 306. Another neat update to the Moto E is LTE. Unlike last year, the entry price gave you a 3G smartphone. This Moto E second generation gives you 4G LTE for 150 bucks flat, but there is a 3G model coming soon with slightly different specs. Internal storage has been doubled from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes, and there is a micro SD card slot for more expansion. But the biggest changes by a mile lie in the software. First of all, the new Moto E is rocking Android 5.0.2 Lollipop with the same version of Motorola software. So basically, it's stock Android plus a few useful Moto actions. New for the Moto E are Moto Display, which will turn on anytime a notification comes through, or if you pick up your device and this shows up in a very nice black and white font. And the other one is the Moto Actions, bringing the double twist to open the camera. These two alone are pretty damn useful and were only found on the much more expensive expensive Moto X. One slight downfall is the downgrade of front-facing speakers from two on the original Moto E to just one on this generation, but we'll definitely have to see how they sound if they sound any better in another video. Also, the cameras remain at the same 5 megapixels on the back and 0.3 megapixels on the front. Not really class leading here, but again, it's 150 bucks off contract and I'll totally take LTE over cameras any day. So we'll go ahead and just wrap up the video nice, short, and sweet. Make sure to leave some comments below and tell us what you'd like to see on the brand new Moto E. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.